James Webb captures evidence of carbon dioxide in distant planet's atmosphere. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has become known for capturing stunning images of space, but the telescope recently made a different kind of discovery – the first clear evidence of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of a planet outside the solar system. According to NASA, the CO2 which humans breathe out was found in the atmosphere of a planet orbiting a star 700 light-years away. So, what does this discovery mean of existence of life on other planets? Let's find out! Welcome to Space World! In today's video, we are going to talk about the evidence of carbon dioxide found in a distant planet's atmosphere and how this discovery will change our perspective about life in the outer space. So, if you want to know more about it, then stay with us until the end of the video. The James Webb Space Telescope, which is already famous for its mesmerizing images of the cosmos, has done it again. The telescope has captured the first unambiguous evidence of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere of a planet outside the solar system, called WASP-39. WASP-39b is a hot gas giant with a mass roughly one quarter that of Jupiter and a diameter 1.3 times greater than Jupiter. Its extreme puffiness is related in part to its high temperature, which is about 1600 degrees Fahrenheit or 900 degrees Celsius. Unlike the cooler, more compact gas giants in our solar system, WASP-39b orbits very close to its star, only about one-eighth the distance between the Sun and Mercury, completing one circuit in just over four Earth days. The planet's discovery, reported in 2011, was made based on ground-based detections of the subtle, periodic dimming of light from its host star as the planet transits or passes in front of the star. Previous observations from other telescopes, including NASA's Hubble and Spitzer Space Telescopes, revealed the presence of water vapor, sodium, and potassium in the planet's atmosphere. Webb's unmatched infrared sensitivity has now confirmed the presence of carbon dioxide on this planet as well. The finding not only provides tantalizing hints about how the exoplanet formed, but is also a harbinger for what's to come, as Webb studies more and more alien worlds. In addition, the discovery is presented in a data plot with none of the luster of Webb's previous images, which showed galaxies locked in a cosmic dance and radiant clouds in a stellar nursery. But Jesse Christensen, an astronomer at the NASA Exoplanet Science Institute at the California Institute of Technology in Pasadena, describes the data as gorgeous. The plot, or spectrum, reveals detailed information about the atmosphere of the exoplanet WASP-39b called a hot Jupiter by scientists because it has a diameter similar to Jupiter's but orbits its star much more closely than Mercury orbits the Sun, making it incredibly hot. The planet, which is more than 200 parsecs from Earth, was initially discovered during ground-based observations and later detected by NASA's Spitzer Space Telescope, which operated between 2003 and 2020. Data from the latter suggested that WASP-39b's atmosphere might contain carbon dioxide, but they were inconclusive. Then came Webb. For a little more than eight hours on 10 July, the infrared telescope observed the planet moving across the face of its star. In this time, starlight shone through the planet's atmosphere, where various molecules absorbed specific wavelengths of infrared light. Astronomers wondered whether carbon dioxide would show up as a telltale blip in the spectrum. And there it was, just jumping off of the computer screen, says study co-author Natalie Batala, an astronomer at the University of California Santa Cruz who leads Webb's Transiting Exoplanet Early Release Science Team. But Batala wasn't alone. When Christensen, who is not part of the team, saw the data, she gasped. It was like, oh, there it is, she says. We've had hints of it before, but this is the first time it's really been a punch-in-the-face kind of detection. The result has bolstered confidence that Webb is going to be revolutionary for exoplanet research. In its first year of operation alone, the telescope is commissioned to observe 76 exoplanets. The final tally could be in the hundreds over its lifetime. It will gaze through the atmospheres of gas giants and small rocky worlds that could be similar to Earth. My very first thought when I saw that signal was, wow! This is going to work, Batala says. But finding carbon dioxide is also impressive on its own. 
From a science standpoint, it's extremely exciting, says Jonathan Fortney, director of the Other Worlds Laboratory at UCSC and co-author of the paper. So, it would be reasonable to expect that a planet similar to Jupiter, which formed from the same disk of material as its star, would have roughly the same chemical makeup as that star. But that isn't the case in our solar system. Nor is it true for WASP-39b. The exoplanet's strong carbon dioxide signal suggests that it's enriched with elements heavier than the hydrogen and helium that typically constitute stars. The question is, why? That's where the story starts to get interesting, Batala says. It's possible that when WASP-39b was young, it was bombarded with comets and asteroids, which could have delivered heavier elements such as carbon and oxygen. Interestingly, the exoplanet seems to have the same amounts of heavy elements as Saturn, which astronomers also think endured a violent youth. Or the answer might be that WASP-39b formed from materials in the cold outer reaches of its planetary system, then migrated inwards. At its final resting spot, it snuggled up to its host star, which could have blasted away some of the hydrogen in the exoplanet's atmosphere, causing the heavier elements to become more concentrated and making it richer in carbon dioxide than it was originally. Now, Fortney, Batala, and their colleagues are working on four papers that will analyze the planet's spectrum in significantly more detail and probe these possibilities. It's like archaeology, Patala says. You're trying to build up a big story, and you're using the molecules themselves as tracers of that story. Now, what it means to discover life on other planets? Spotting carbon dioxide in a planet's atmosphere is a stepping stone towards detecting life beyond Earth. Astronomers don't expect WASP-39b to be capable of hosting life as it is much too close to its star. Moreover, they don't even expect the Webb telescope to find definitive signs of life on another planet. But using Webb to detect carbon dioxide helps to lay the foundation for future discoveries. Astronomers think that a mixture of carbon dioxide and methane in a planet's atmosphere could be an indicator of life, what's known as a biosignature, and WASP-39b's signal is halfway to a good biosignature. Batala's team has built a model predicting that the planet's atmosphere also contains water, carbon monoxide, and hydrogen sulfide, but little methane. Ultimately, the detection of life will probably require an observatory even more advanced than Webb. But Batala says, this is a really important phase that we need to pass through to be ready for that technology in the future. So, JWST is the first telescope that's able to look at the right wavelengths of light to pick out the signature of water, methane, and carbon dioxide, all of which are vital to understanding how planets grow and evolve over time. Carbon dioxide molecules are sensitive tracers of the story of planet formation, says Mike Lyon from Arizona State University. By measuring this carbon dioxide feature, we can determine how much solid versus how much gaseous material was used to form this gas giant planet. In the coming decade, Webb will make this measurement for a variety of planets, providing insights into the details of how planets form and the uniqueness of our own solar system. But perhaps most interestingly, carbon dioxide is given off by forms of life here on Earth, including us humans, meaning it could be a biomarker. Therefore, detecting such a clear signal of carbon dioxide on WASP-39b bodes well for the detection of atmospheres on smaller, terrestrial-sized planets. These types of planets are thought to be much more likely to hold life, or at least a form of life we would be able to recognize as such, than planets like WASP-39b, raising hopes that we could be on a path to finding extraterrestrial life. Though it has only been generating data for a few short months, JWST has already shown itself to be the next great instrument in exoplanet research. Furthermore, over the last few decades, the Hubble Space Telescope has been setting the precedent for what mysteries these atmospheres contain, from clouds scattering obscuring molecular features to detections of water vapor absorption and escaping atmospheres. But Webb will complement and extend these studies with higher resolution, wavelength coverage, and precision to reveal the key trends in the data pointing to the formation and evolution of these planets. And this is it for today, guys! What are your thoughts on today's video? Share your views with us in the comments below! Also, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and ring the bell icon for more amazing videos about space!
and thank you for watching.